Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the vlog. This is 24 hours in Montreal. I'll tell you guys all about the story time of my flight yesterday and just how stressful it was. And I'll also be bringing you along on my adventures for today. I just came back and got a coffee and I need to get ready. I'm actually running a little bit late, so I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and like talking you guys through what the plan is today. So yeah, welcome. And if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Reza. I usually talk about personal finances and lifestyle content. So if you're into that, please make sure you're subscribed down below. And yeah, let's get this day started. I need a few more sips of this before I can actually function as a human being today. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna get ready. So I thought that I would kind of take you guys through my skincare slash makeup routine because why not? And someone did ask me in a comment before that they wanted to see the skincare that I used. I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my base and it's pretty much similar to morning and night. The first thing that I just put on is my Caudalie serum. I know that this is mostly for night, but I forgot my other serum or I didn't forget it. I didn't bring it because it was really big and I knew that I would get flagged because I think it's 150 mils and at the airport, you can only bring up to 100 ml. I'm also gonna be using this as my moisturizer. I got this in Paris at one of the pharmacies because I heard really good things about it. Um, so yeah, I, I've been using it a lot and I feel that if you have dry skin like me, it works really well. I'm just gonna let that kind of sink through. Where is my coffee? Okay, as I was saying, um, yesterday was a little bit chaotic because we had a flight delay. So my flight was leaving at 9.15 a.m. PST, so Vancouver time, and I was meant to arrive in Montreal at like 4.50. And I got to the airport, then I got an email from Air Canada saying that they had a flight delay. They ended up canceling the flight and rebooking us for noon, which meant that I would get here at around like 7.50. Okay, I think my moisturizer is okay. So I'm gonna put on my favorite sunscreen. This is La Roche-Posay. I put this on every single morning. Ooh, and I've tried a few other sunscreens and this one is by far my favorite. I need a time check because I'm super late. Time check, it's a 9.27 and I have to meet someone at 10. So I need to get going here. Okay, just took off my sweater because I'm getting really hot. But now I'm ready to do my makeup. So I am not perfect at makeup. I honestly feel like I can still learn a few tricks. I'm gonna get started with underpainting. So I'm gonna do my contour first and then I'll go in with my foundation. So I'm using the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I've purchased this three times already. Like this is my third one. I love this so much. Okay, now let's do my base. I'm gonna do the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is in a shade four. I've also bought this quite a bit. Um, I do really like it. So I'm only gonna put a little bit because I'm also gonna double it up with the Rare Beauty Foundation. I kind of just like this to give me a little bit of a glow because I find that the Rare Beauty Foundation is quite matte, so this is it, and this is in the 270. It gives me so much coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy. I wanna have a more glowy base. I'm gonna add this, say, super gel. We are looking more alive now. Okay, I'll continue on with my story from yesterday. So our flight got canceled, and we did end up flying at around 2.15. So the flight from Vancouver to Montreal, if you didn't know, is not bad it's only four and a little bit i was prepared to kind of do some work while i'm there made myself whole to-do list so the flight itself was not bad but just the delays were terrible because it kept getting pushed back and pushed back and i also had dinner plans for that night so i had plans to meet up with my friend when i thought i was gonna get there at around 4 50. i planned to meet up with her at like seven for dinner i had to message her i'm like can we do eight and then when we ended up flying at 12 i actually think we need to do nine o'clock so thankfully she was very accommodating and then i finally landed in montreal but we didn't get off the plane until 8 
35 and it took me like half an hour to get to my hotel so i still had my luggage with me and i wanted to drop it off before meeting her for dinner i ended up not being able to do that so i actually had to bring all of my luggage which is a little bit annoying but you know what the restaurant actually wasn't that busy so it was totally fine for me to like bring my luggage in there i'll put up the name of the restaurant here that we went to we went to an italian spot it was so 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 good okay we are going in with a beauty blender now just to kind of soften up any harsh lines from my foundation oh i need to do brows okay and then i think i'm just gonna fill in my brows a little bit i'm gonna use a nyx micro brow pencil this one's just okay i mean i don't want to spend like 30 dollars on these so this is like maybe seven or eight dollars and it does the job so after dinner i ended up getting home at around maybe 11 30 or midnight and obviously still adjusting to the time change so i actually didn't end up sleeping until two o'clock even though i knew i had plans for 10 so i'm a little bit tired and that's why I've been chugging this guy but what are we up to today so one of the reasons why i ended up booking this trip was for business so if you didn't know i have a small business it's called the line and this past year i've been partnering really closely with a content creator based here in montreal and when i told her that i was coming we obviously had to meet up so if you watch youtube you might know her her name is zoe pritchard so i am meeting zoe for brunch today and yeah i'm so excited to kind of meet her in person and just talk about life and business and all of that stuff so i'm going to be bringing you guys along for this brunch and then after that i'm also going to an essence appointment i have a ton of things on my wish list that I want to purchase from Essence and yeah I'm really excited to try everything on in person and of course I will be bringing you guys along with me I'm just looking for my blush because I think that might be the last step okay so this is the rare beauty blush i got this in hope if you know this blush you know a little goes a very long way so i don't want to do too much of it i recently upgraded my concealer routine i got a new concealer brush i have been loving this this is from hourglass it's very very pricey but i feel like it's worth it i want to keep it i bought this at sephora and they have a 30-day return policy in case something doesn't work out for you so i've been kind of test driving this and i do really like it and i'm going to be using a becca under eye brightening concealer this is in the shade medium and it works really well to cover up my under eye circles okay, so that's the corrector and then i also go in with an hourglass concealer this is an apricot i love this concealer i know i say that about every single product i just put on but truly these are things that I rebuy on a consistent basis. So I'm really happy that I found the things that I love and works for me. And yeah, I truly do love everything that I've been using. So as I was saying, I've got an essence appointment today at two o'clock. And then my parents actually come to Montreal. They're gonna drive here from Ontario and I believe they're gonna come at like four o'clock. So I have a couple hours kind of for myself to just hang out and see the city. And then after that, my parents come and my brother as well. So we're going to hang out. I have a rough idea of what we're going to be doing, but nothing like too concrete. But yeah, I'm really excited for them to come. I haven't seen them in so long. So I'm just really excited to spend some time with them in a new city. So that is what's up for today. I'm almost done this makeup routine i just need to do powder under my eyes i almost forgot to tell you guys my new favorite highlighter this is the westman atelier lit up highlighter stick and it's in the shade nectar and it just gives you the nicest most like natural glow so i just add that to kind of like the high points of my cheeks and under my brow we have about 12 minutes left before i have to meet up with zoe so I'm gonna quickly do my hair and i also have to change i don't know if i'm gonna be wearing this maybe i am but i also need to add some jewelry so give me one sec guys i just got back from my meeting with zoe and it was so much fun i don't even think i vlogged a ton when i was with her just because we were just 
chatting away and the time flew by. So it is now almost two o'clock and I have an appointment at Essence. If you didn't know, Essence is based in Montreal and they have a showroom here. And if you wanted to try stuff on, you'd have to book an appointment. So I knew I wanted to do that while I was here. So I pre-booked an appointment, getting ready to go out. Um, I think it's like an eight minute walk from where I'm staying. And yeah, my parents still aren't here. They just said that they're like two and a half hours away. So I have some time to shop, maybe just window shop actually. We'll see if I buy anything at Essence, but I'm just like excited to try stuff on in my wish list. And yeah, I can't wait to take you guys with me. Let's go. This is the fit. I realized I never showed it to you guys after I got ready, but I am just wearing a Uniqlo sweater with some brown um, trousers from Uniqlo as well actually. I've got my trusty Loewe puzzle bag with me and I also have my Celine sunglasses. I, when I was out, it was honestly the most beautiful like fall day just with a coffee. It was such a vibe and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to just walk around old Montreal and go to Essence and do a little bit of a window shop. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are now back at the hotel. As you saw in the previous clips, I just got myself a London fog because I felt like I was crashing a little bit because I didn't really have a coffee since this morning. Um, but yeah, I just got myself a coffee from Tommy Cafe. And yeah, we're back from Essence. We're back from my shopping adventures. And honestly, it was a really good experience. I was very impressed by just how nice the experience was in terms of like personal shopping. If you were curious on how to book your own appointment, you could just actually need to go to the Essence website. You're able to put things into your wish list and you add them to your appointment. You can schedule appointments, I wanna say like five days before your actual trip if you're gonna be visiting Montreal. And yeah, I can't say anything bad about that experience. The associate that I dealt with, he was very helpful and he kind of like let me do my own thing because I don't really like when sales associates are always like bothering you when you're trying stuff on. I ended up not buying anything, although I wasn't really planning on buying anything. There was a pair of shoes. It was the little kitten heels that you saw in the vlog footage that I really liked, but they were actually quite uncomfortable. I was just walking around in them for maybe not even like five minutes as I was trying on jeans and they were so uncomfortable. If they were hurting my feet in within five minutes, how bad would it have been if I wore them for a whole day? So that was that. And then afterwards, I just went out to explore old Montreal kind of on my own. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but this is a bit of a solo trip for me, although my parents are gonna come 
very soon, but I wanted to have a taste of a solo trip for myself. So solo trip in the sense that my partner isn't traveling with me. He is going to be in Toronto next week when I'm there, but he didn't come to Montreal with me this time around. And I think that I have always had this itch to do a solo trip on my own and anything farther than Canada terrifies me. So when I was deciding on where I wanted to go for my potential solo trip, I was kind of staying within Canada because it's still very familiar, but a place that's still quite different from Vancouver and Toronto. So I thought Montreal was the perfect place and it all just kind of lined up that I had met up with friends here. And to me, I think it was a really good decision. And although this solo trip is really only like 24 hours, I think it was like very much needed for me. And yeah, just very nice to know that I can do this on my own if I wanted to. I don't know, I was just kind of like reflecting on that on my way home. And Montreal is so, so nice. I can't believe I haven't visited here until now. And I honestly want to go back again, even though I'm still here. But yeah, just my overall thoughts about solo trips and Montreal so far. What is next is my parents are driving here. They should be here, honestly, in the next 30 minutes. I'm just kind of cleaning up. I kind of made a mess of the place while I was getting ready earlier. So I'm just kind of cleaning up before they arrive. And then we're going to go have dinner somewhere in the old port. And then tomorrow we are going to explore Montreal. We have a full day in Montreal tomorrow. So doing all the touristy things. Friday, we are going to start to drive back to Toronto. So that is what's up for this upcoming week i think i might end the vlog here maybe i'll show you guys what we end up eating for dinner later on but yeah i appreciate you sticking around and i hope you enjoyed this 24 hours in montreal vlog i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video bye you guys